For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to fifar.com. Check out the link in the description. What's up, guys? I'm Tower FC Evan, and welcome to a Premier League transfer news video. Many of you guys said on yesterday's video that you guys would like to see a Premier League transfer news video, so here it is. So if you enjoy this and want to see more throughout the January transfer window, smash the like button, please, guys. And also, let me know in the comments below what do you think about these deals, which is your favorite club in the Premier League, and who do you want to sign for your favorite club? Let me know in the comments below. I always love reading your football-related comments. Let's get straight into it. So these are the top January transfer targets for Premier League clubs. And we have to start with Edinson Cavani, who is playing for Paris Saint-Germain and you know sometimes he's playing on the wing mostly when Ibra Hivovic is star starting and he's not happy with that he likes to be the main striker uh, both Liverpool, Arsenal and Man United potentially could be interested uh, the Express newspaper reports that um, Paris Saint-Germain would allow Cavani to leave if uh, uh, like a very good bid like 50 million 60 million comes in and you know Man United could sign him they could afford him Liverpool and Arsenal they won't be able to afford that amount of money but Man United certainly definitely can afford him, him they have the the spending power to do that uh, another transfer target he has been long uh, li uh, linked with uh, Liverpool Dani Avesh who would cost only 8 million but he, his wages would be a lot higher and he's you know 30 31 years old also man united could be interested but i'm not sure if we would um, that would be a good move for either club you know dani avashi maybe has one or two years left in him but i would certainly prefer for liverpool to sign a player like nathan klein who can, who could be our right back for five six seven eight years another very big transfer could be karim benzema of real madrid both Liverpool, Arsenal and Man United are interested in him. He would cost uh, 50 million as well. And uh, and yeah, I'm not sure. If Benzema would only leave Real Madrid, I think, if Real Madrid wants to sell him. Because, you know, Real Madrid are on a 22-match winning streak, which is absolutely insane. And uh, why would Benzema want to leave Real Madrid? But, you know, my, maybe maybe that will happen. We will see. Of course, Marco Royce, we have to talk about him as well. All the big Premier League clubs are interested in him, I think. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City, Man United. And uh, if uh, Dortmund wants to make uh, money out of Marco Royce, he, they will definitely have to sell him in the January transfer window because he, he has a release clause which kicks in next summer. So if, uh, if Dortmund wants to sell for a higher price, this is the time to do it. Uh, and of course Dortmund are in the relegation zone in the Bundesliga so you could understand if Marco Royce wants to move to a to a club uh, who, uh, who can challenge for trophies so yeah we will see what happens in that front Stefan Asharavi another very talented young player and uh, he could uh, he could be available for a cut price 11 and a half million deal both Arsenal Man United and, and also Liverpool are interested in him but you know, uh, Ashrawi has been uh, off form a little bit, uh, has gone off the boil. Of course, he's playing in a in a quite average AC Milan team, but uh, he ha he didn't have a lot, a very very good season last season. He was injured a lot of the time. Of course, Wilfried Boni is another player who is hot, really hot. He has been the top scorer in the calendar year of 2014 with something like 20 goals, 21 goals. And uh, and he could be um, he could be available for 25 million pounds. Man City, Tottenham, and Liverpool are reportedly interested in him, especially Tottenham and Liverpool. But for yeah, uh, if Liverpool can't sign a striker like Lacazette, I would or or Jackson Martinez, I would be happy, fairly happy with Boney because he's a goal scorer, and that's exactly what we need. Also, Kevin Strootman, he has been linked with Man United for many transfer windows now, and. Uh, and yeah, of course, he's Dutch, just like the Man United manager, Louis van Gaal, and they could move in for him for £25 million. Pounds. I think this is one of the most likely transfers to happen in the January transfer window. Morgan Schneiderlin is another player who is very, very uh, good, and he has a brilliant half a season at Southampton, uh, Southampton uh, in the top four, and yet for £25 million, pounds, 
both Arsenal, Tottenham and potentially Liverpool uh, could be interested in him and especially Arsenal and Liverpool need a very very good defensive midfielder and if we could sign him or Arsenal could sign him they would be that, that would be a big big transfer for either club of course Shadon Shakiri still linked with Liverpool reportedly Juventus has ended their interest they are looking at uh, another player so it could be either between Inter or Liverpool and Inter reportedly want Shakiri only on loan uh, but they are also looking at Mohamed Salah from Chelsea to take on loan uh, otherwise Liverpool would want Shakiri on a permanent transfer but you know the problem is that Shakiri wants playing time and maybe at Liverpool he sees there is big competition but I think uh, Shakiri would definitely get into the Liverpool team but at Inter he would get regular playing time 100% maybe at Liverpool it's not 100% but still a very high chance so if I were to Shakiri, I would move to the Premier League which is a much better league and you know Inter are uh, in, uh, in mid-table in the Serie A so it's not like uh, they are uh, challenging for trophies either Alexander Lacazette of course I've been talked about him many many times for 50 million uh, that could be a really big big transfer for either Arsenal or Liverpool and I really hope that we try and sign this guy because he's just a big big talent and he's exactly what we need a fast striker who can run in behind the defenses so uh, this could be a, a really really big transfer and also Mats Hummels they reportedly uh, are is on his way out from Dortmund I think many big stars from Dortmund would like to leave uh, the relegation threatened club maybe in January both Arsenal and Man United are in dire need of a very very good center back but he could cost 25 30 maybe 35 million as well but I don't think that would be a gamble because who else is a very very strong uh, center back very good center back he's only uh, downside is he has he's quite injury prone also, Winston Reid, who had a really, really good se half a season at West Ham, uh, Arsenal are interested in him, and he could be available for only £6 million. And Arsenal really need some defenders. They will definitely have to, uh, the Arsenal has to sign some defenders, otherwise, uh, they could be in trouble in the second half of the season. Also, Saido Berahino, both Liverpool and Tottenham are interested in him. Um, and uh, the West Brom chairman just recently said that if a good enough offer comes in for Barahino, he could be sold and Tony Poole is the new West Brom manager could strengthen the team uh, with that amount of money uh, and also a big big player Memphis Depay I think he is having an absolutely amazing season at PSV he had a brilliant World Cup and Man United and Paris Saint-Germain are looking at him for 30 million pounds and he could be a very very exciting player I would definitely love to see him in the Premier League because he's the he's a really really awesome winger I uh, was one of my favorite players in the Dutch League so uh, we will have to see what happens but I'm not sure he want to he wants to leave in January I think he would like to win the league in, in PSV and then maybe leave next summer also Lavazzi who has been reportedly quite unhappy at Paris Saint-Germain as well Ezekiel Lavazzi uh, both Arsenal, Liverpool and Napoli are also interested in his former club and he could be available for a cut price of 12 million pounds and I'm not sure if he would be able to cut it in the Premier League but uh, for 12 million pounds I certainly would take a gamble on him if we can't sign Shakiri. I mean I'm talking as a Liverpool fan's point of view but but uh, Arsenal, I don't think they need him. They have a lot of very good wingers. Sanchez, Oxley, chamberlain Walker just came back from injury. So yeah, we will see what happens on that front. So uh, these are my top transfer stories for today in the January transfer window. Let me know what, who do you want your club to sign in the transfer window in the comments below. And leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.